Hi, Fabio. Welcome. Hello. Thank you. I want to begin this uh, conversation by um, yeah, expressing my appreciation for your enthusiasm about the merge of Homelike and QGN, and of course, for your already impactful contribution so far. Thank you. Appreciate that. Good. So please uh, feel free to go ahead and introduce yourself as well as uh, QGN. I think it would be great if you could tell a little about QGN and also your role there, and then more about the merger itself and your current position at home. Yes, yeah, sure. So let let me start with myself, right? So Fabio, I'm in the corporate housing industry for 15 years now. I am with QGN for seven years. It started in well, during this 15 years period in the corporate housing, I transitioned from various roles from reception, from receptionist to reservation, to sales operation, account management, supply coordinator to supply account management, and then the head of the uh, global supply chain for the Q Global Network, right? So uh, I am in the Q for seven years and has been a good seven years, to be fair. I'm being a very loyal, you know, employee of the company, seeing uh, during this time in Q, I see the transition from, from the marriage with Skyline in the past, which was very challenging, but we overcome that. And now with, with home life, uh, Q apartments at the moment, uh, we had uh, operations in 73 countries, meaning that we have a supply network in all of these countries where we do uh, reach the suppliers globally to serve our corporate clients worldwide. We are, we in the side before the marriage of home like we were a small team of about 20 people on the QGN side that we do from account management to sales, reservations, operations, and finance. So that's more or less like this in the way that we do operate. We do the business very much on relationship based, right? So for example, before I had the, the entire team, I was looking after the American side of the business where I had the opportunity to travel around from the U.S. to Argentina, to Mexico, Panama, Costa Rica, Brazil, visiting suppliers, building these relationships over the years, which we maintain to today. And that's how the business continue to grow and go to those directions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sounds good. Very well put. And how has the transition been for you so far? Uh, I would say that it has been challenging, you know, I'm not going to lie. Uh, and also because, you know, when you started to talk about putting two different minds together, two different concepts, right? We come from a background where corporate house and very corporate world orientated. Uh, even our, our terminology is different. Uh, from the home like team, the way that the business operate, like we, uh, on, on one side is very much, uh, more on the B2C world, right? Client related and on the other side, it is more corporate driven and the, it, the language and terminology is different. The way of doing business is different. So during this marriage process, which has now been six, six months and a half, the beginning I think was very hard to try to understand, putting things into perspective, how would adapt to the business from both sides, to find solutions for even the small details on our day-to-day -day operations. And I knew from the start that wouldn't be an easy task um, because of course, two different minds, two different ways of doing business. And this process is, 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 is aligning, is not there yet. But yeah, we are here to overcome the challenges and I'm a very, very positive person. And I believe that things are going to come into play and that it's great, great opportunity for us coming in this way. Yeah, for sure. It makes sense. I mean, uh, two different companies, two different, you know, ways of doing things as well as the culture, uh, which m brings me to my next point. What are your thoughts on how well you and your peers from Q align with home likes, um, culture and values? Uh, it, it is a different, a different way, I would say, right? Especially because, for example, in QGN, we had the culture of working from the office all the time. It was that was not like flexibility, or much flexibility on, on working from home. Of course, during the pandemic, we had to uh, work from home, but as soon as the pandemic finished, no, everybody's back to the office. I see this, for example, in this specific subject, 
that it straws and cones. I, as everybody loves the flexibility, I personally like to be in the office environment, but I like the mix of both. And then adapting to the, to the culture of, you know, now we can work from home, trying to, to adapt the way that you do there. During the, for example, during the pandemic, I had a situation where I had to work two years from home. And maybe that's why I prefer this, this work environment. But adapting to yeah. the way of home, like doing business, I think it's a growing exercise for all of us, right? It's something new. We are not used, not adapt to the home-like way of doing, which to be fair, I, I just love it because, for example, well, my management style, I would say, I like, I prefer to have a much friendlier approach, trying to help people around and try to be friends with everybody. There'll be situations where we have to say, hey, no, get in there. But I like very much this, you know, this approach. And culture-wise, you know, I'm adapting well with, with, with the company. And in certain situations that I already had, where, you know, praising my peers, for example, or saying, hey, well done for that small thing that you did, but it contributed a lot to the company and sharing ideas, then it's much more wider approach than a few uh, in there. So I like that very much. And I believe the rest of the team as well, I think they are adapting to it. I'm not going to say that it, it is like it's done transition because we are all humans and you take time to adapt and sometimes people don't like change, right? Yeah. So, I think it, like the six months, uh, I think the beginning has been a little bit more challenging. Now it starts to soften up a little bit. And I believe in the next two to three months, everybody's going to be fully integrated, thinking and, you know, embracing the, the company culture and being, hey, I am a part of the home-like family. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think change is always hard, but looking forward when we are all settled and we can, you know, refer to us as uh, home likeies and not keep dividing us like you and home like. Exactly. Um, we are united. I think I will soon see that as we finish merging the processes, the booking, our coming through. I think that would be so nice to have that. When we finish it, it is low. There will be no war. We are queue. You are home like. It's going to be one unifying workforce and that can't wait to see that. Yeah, exactly. And are there new opportunities that you anticipate with this merger or maybe challenges as well? Yeah, so I would say there is a lot of learning from both sides, right? I would say that from what I felt so far, and that was one of my critiques as well as that was that at a certain point I felt there was more for example, the QGN people learning home-like ways, but there was not on the same approach to the other side. And that's yeah. something I said, okay, I see this is not happening. I have to push that for that to happen. And then we start pushing, for example, when I said about the duty of care, which is something very important for the corporate housing world. And other small details on a day-to-day -day that I think it's important for the home-like team to start learning with our uh, QGN ways. And then we can integrate and fully merge into one that everybody knows how to get the best of both, right? Challenges okay. around the way, there will be always different mindsets, different views on things, where some of the I mean, colleagues at home, like they have a very B2C mind orientated and have a very B2B mind orientated and try to put these two together to say, hey, I see where we're coming from. However, if we don't have this, this feature or this way of doing business, this approach, you're not going to get that higher volume. The 15 years in the corporate housing work kind of gave me some insight into things that is needed for the corporate. And I believe that we putting the things together, emerging, adapting the, the platform to welcome the B2B business, for example, we will have huge opportunities with, client, with some clients. I was talking to a client last week. I was in a meeting with this big relocation company and the way that she was saying, okay, so prepare the platform then you can have our business. It's like one client can imagine what this can be done for so many others that are thirsty for a platform that can cater for corporate business and, you know, corporate demand and to have the client themselves go into the platform, finding the options and, you know, booking their employees there. I think we have a huge opportunity here and as expected would be some, I would say, turbulence along the way during the yeah. merger, which is, which is fine. That is an expression that people sometimes use. I see this whole organization like a tree, right? So we grow in, into a tree. Sometimes the tree has to shake. So the, you know, the bad roots fall and then the strong 
stays there so they're going to uh, organization grow uh, better and fruitful let's say this way and i think this is what what's happening from like at the moment and as soon as all the processes are aligned uh, people uh, are into the culture of the company the way of you know the, the all the, the of course the nice parts the colleagues and the environment I think this is going to contribute a lot for our future. And also, once we go out there with a product that you can say, hey, we are ready now to come our business, our doors are going to be, there will be lots of uh, new clients on our doors for sure. Yeah, I completely agree. Well said. I mean, I see also a lot of potential, so many opportunities with this merge, but of course, just to be, you know, realistic, everything has challenges, especially merging to companies. So I do appreciate your transparency, Fabio. Really great insights. I think everyone would uh, also appreciate you sharing this and also your experience of this transition in the, in the last six months. This is a great time to be a uh, part of all of this all. Uh, because I think with the challenges, there is a lot of learning from both sides as well. And then we can contribute to put together something that's going to be unique in the market. So for me personally, I'm very excited to, to, to be part of Home Life. And I myself already feel like a home like key. So <laughs> and then I it's to me as well to help my peers and colleagues be like Eugen to feel the same, like we feel yeah. integrated and part of the company. Yeah, sounds good. <laughs> yeah, super exciting. Thank you again, Fabio. And uh, till next time. Thank you so much. Thanks. Bye. Bye bye.